How's everybody doing today? Good. Right. As you know, my name's Christina. I'm going to be talking to you about a very serious topic that could change the way the war in Afghanistan is going to work. I'm talking about the U.S. soldiers who went on a killing spree, killing all those innocent civilians while they were sleeping. First of all, how we got in the war. Of course, you know, September 11th, a tragedy in our nation, and then of course, Osama bin Laden, the one behind it all, and as you know, we did find him and we did kill him. That should have ended the war, or did it? My preview point today is going to be about the U.S. soldier who killed all the civilians. We'll be talking about what happened, what is happening, and what is going to happen. What happened? On March 10th, a U.S. soldier went into a village and killed 16 civilians. 16. He went rogue. And according to Emma Harrison, many of the women, like many of the innocent people, were women and children. And as you see in this photo right here, it's a more holding the hand of one of the victims, a child, probably even four, six years old. As details came in and we learned more about the shooter, we found out that it was none other than Staff Sergeant Robert Bates who was behind the trigger. And as details came in, it found out that we had more wounded and more killed. So we're now up to a grand total of 17 dead and six wounded. And this really pissed off the Afghan officials. According to Luis Martinez of ABC News, the 38-year-old Stan accused from going out of his base in Kalahar, Afghanistan in the middle of the night Sunday and was walking to a nearby village where he broke into homes and opened fire on the families inside. Now, Ernesto Orlando said, according to the Taliban, they swore revenge. Now, I don't know what's more scary, the shooting or the revenge part. What do y'all think? Mm. Now, as you can see, this is another innocent child got down. It is not really confirmed or not, but apparently Robert Bates set some of them on fire, too, after he shot him. Now, what is going to happen? We don't know for right now, but as it stands, he stands for 17 counts of murder, 6 counts of attempted murder, and 6 counts of aggravated assault, according to the journal, or to the Guardian, I'm sorry. He is in U.S. custody. There's no trial yet. However, the main talk is where will he be trialed? Afghan officials want him to be trialed in Afghanistan. U.S. want him in U.S. This could cause problems. In conclusion, I have spoken to you today about what's happened, what is going to happen, and what is happening to Robert Bates right now. It is still a developing story, so it's not set in stone, but we won't know until that time. Ha, 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 ha.